Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Now, are you feeling overwhelmed by all the different cybersecurity career options that are present? Uh, if yes, then you're not alone. You know, cybersecurity has so many career paths like cloud security, governance, risk and compliance, uh, penetration testing. So it's very, very easy to get stuck in like analysis paralysis, as they say. So you're not able to figure out which career path you want to get started in. So if you do feel like that, you're not alone, right? So in this video, I'm going to show you that you do not need to know everything to get started. Uh, and I'm going to show you a structured step-by-step -step way you can find out the perfect cybersecurity career path for you. One that aligns with your goals and your long-term interests. So if you're ready to start building that cybersecurity career, let's get started. If you're new to this channel, my name is Tamarish Lal. I'm a senior security consultant with Amazon Web Services here in London. And I basically made this channel to give cybersecurity career advice and help people in cloud security, AI security. So do like and subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. So let's get started. Okay, so what am I talking about? I'm talking about finding your cybersecurity career path. Now, this is very easily one of the most common queries that I get asked by so many people. You know what happens is people, they do not know what to do and how to get started in cybersecurity. I was talking to a person and they were interested in a governance risk and compliance career. And I asked him, what are you doing? And they told me that they were doing a certified ethical hacker certification, which like confused me like greatly. And I did ask him, why are you doing a CEH? when you want to go into GRC, because this person, he did not know, so he was wasting his time and money. He was not interested in penetration testing, but unfortunately he had gotten this idea that the CEH is like a good certification, so that'll help me get into GRC. So that's why it's so important in cybersecurity to have what I refer to as like, you know, a North Star, because what happens is you have so many different cybersecurity career paths, right? All of them are good, like cloud security, identity access management, penetration testing, uh, GRC, uh, SOC, application security. Cybersecurity is a massive field. It's not just like one big cybersecurity thing. There are multiple career paths. Each of them have different type of like a career root phase. Each of them are suited for different types of people. So that's why it, it, like what happens is a lot of people, they come to me and they're very confused. They do not know where to start. What do I have to do? How do I go on this career path? How do I like get started? What sort of certifications do I have to do? Is this career path even suited for me? These are the questions that people ask me, you know, so it's very easy to get confused and overwhelmed. So that's why it's so important to have, like I said, a North Star. And I talked about this in my previous video also. Basically, a guiding principle that this is my career path. This is what I have to do. Mm -hmm. So whatever career decisions that you're making, they will be guided by this North Star. You will know these are the skills I have to get. And these, this is how I have to position myself in the industry, right? And the questions that you want to ask to find out, uh, like what sort of field of cybersecurity are you interested in? Do, are you a technical person? Like you want to be like, a, or you want to be more strategic, like a governance risk and compliance person. Some people like to be technical, right? Some people want to become a CISO. Some people want to go into cloud security. Some people want to be freelancing consultants. They don't want to be get stuck in like a nine to five job. They want to freelance. So there are so many different options to ask. And I've always recommended finding a mentor, right? Finding somebody uh, who can guide you in your cybersecurity career journey. This way you can avoid common mistakes, get industry specific skills faster, you know, and they can help you avoid the mistakes that they made. So you can avoid, like save a lot of time, a lot of money by getting advice. But unfortunately, the truth is it's not easy to find mentors, right? Even with me, I like to help people, but I don't have that much time to help everybody. That's the whole point of making this video and my Udemy courses. So the next best thing is, which I have like, uh, honestly, it's amazing. Nowadays, I did not have this 20 years back, but Gen AI, using Gen AI for finding your career path. A lot of people get skeptical about this. They don't like it. They say, oh no, uh, Gen AI is completely wrong. It'll give me the wrong career path. No. There are certain mistakes that people make, which I want to talk about. Provided you avoid those mistakes, I can assure you, Gen AI can be a very, very powerful way of helping you find your security career path. So what are the mistakes I see people making? First of all, no context. What is context? Context is telling Gen AI about your particular skills, your background. What people do is they ask Gen AI things like chat GPT, generic questions. They say, what is the perfect cybersecurity career path? Or how do I get into penetration testing? Okay, it'll just give you a generic response. You have to tell him about your background, what are your skills, what are your long-term aims, and then it can give you a proper response. Then the other thing is vague instructions. So they give it a very vague instruction. Tell me what is the career path. Okay, how do you want to tell it? 
Do you want it to break it down? Like what sort of output are you expecting? And lastly, unnecessary details. They tell it about things which it has no bearing. They will say, I am like 40 years old, I'm 20 years old, I'm 15 years old, my background, I'm coming from this country. All those are irrelevant details. Genia is not going to like give you any benefit from this information, right? So you have to be careful in what you are taking with. So there is a particular way of prompting Gen AI. Provided you do that, you will get an excellent response back. And I'm going to show you a demo of this also. And I'm going to share with you the prompt which I'm talking about, right? So what am I talking about here? So this is a simple template for a very good prompt. So you tell it the task, this is what you're wanting. You give it uh, like the, what, what do you want? You're looking for a career path, right? You give it the context. That is, this is the relevant background information. These are the requirements, right? And this is what I want you to do within these constraints. And then you give it instructions. And then you tell it, this is how I want the output to be. Provided you do this, you will be actually be amazed by how well the response uh, Gen AI will give you. And I'm going to show you now a demo of how uh, Gen AI can give you this very, very good response. Okay, everybody, this is what I was talking about. So this is an article I just wrote recently. And this is the prompt I was talking about, which will really help you out. So this is the one I was talking about. So this is the task which we've given, which is you're telling Gen AI to find the most suitable cybersecurity career path based on personal background, strengths, and interest. Now you give it the context that the user is exploring our options, but is unsure. He has a specific educational background. The response must be tailored to the user's technical or non-technical preferences. Think step by step. Now these are the things you, this is what basically if you've heard about prompt engineering, so you're telling Gen AI to be very, very specific in the way it's going to give you the answer. And you give the instructions also. You are very, very clear about this, that analyze the user's background, provide a cybersecurity career recommendation that aligns with their skills and references, and find out what are the essential skills and structure the response very, very clearly. And this is what you want to give it the output from it. So you're being very, very explicit here. This is where the people goof up. And they did not give Gen AI these clear instructions, unfortunately, right? So, and this is the input. This is where you want to feed in what you have, right? What are the things you are looking into? So this is what I want you to try out. So if I open chat GPT here, so this is what I've put in, the same prompt I've copy pasted here. And, but uh, the input, so this is the input I'm using, which is a bachelor's in computing. I, I don't have any previous projects. I like problem solving. My preferred work is a technical task and I've written, I like problem solving and reading about incidents that have happened. So I've deliberately kept it high level, but let's see what happens uh, if we give ChatGPT this prompt, okay? And like I said, you can use pretty much any prompt you want, but okay, so this is what it's giving, right? So it's telling me to go with incident response and threat intelligence. And so why? So it's giving you the response also because where professional study real world cyber attacks, because I told it, I like to read about like other incidents that have happened and because I prefer technical tasks. So it is giving you the reasoning why it has given you this career path. What are the key skills that are required, right? Soft skills, uh, the technical skills you might like SIM, incident response frameworks, digital forensics, the recommended certifications. And this is quite good, the way it has uh, told you about it. What are the intermediate? What are the beginner? What are the first steps to start, right? Taking a network fundamentals course, reading cyber incident reports from Verizon and all that. That's pretty cool. Getting a hands-on experience, applying for my entry-level work. So this is really good, honestly speaking. I mean, based on the career parts that I tell people about, this is pretty incredible. And this gives you a very, very good idea about how to get started. So try it out yourself. Don't take my word for it. I will put the link for this uh, article, like I said. Check it out. And then let me know what sort of responses you are getting in the comment section. And uh, like, uh, if you feel that it still needs to be fine-tuned. Okay. Okay, so I hope that was useful to you guys. You, you, uh, I'm going to, in, in the comments below, I'm going to show a link to this prompt so you can use it also. But I hope now you get a better idea of using Gen AI for finding the cybersecurity career path. Play around with it. Try to ask it different questions and mm -hmm. try to modify this prompt if you feel you still am not getting the detail. This can pretty much work with any type of like Gen AI, like chat GPT, Claude. Use whatever model you want, honestly speaking. But play around with this prompt. Ask it more questions and see what sort of responses you get. If you are still uh, like confused, so just to let you know, I have launched a book on this, like the 90 day cybersecurity career guide. It's like less than a dollar right now on Kindle. So you can go check it out if you want more instructions and more guides on how to get started in uh, cybersecurity and find that right cybersecurity career path for you. So I hope this was useful to you. Thank you very much. And I'll see you in the next lesson.